The jury says Matthew Macon of Lansing is guilty of murdering two women and trying to kill another. It took them less than two hours of deliberation to come to that decision. Count one, guilty of murder in the first degree. The prosecution led the jury through a whirlwind of evidence in less than three days. Ingham County Assistant Prosecutor Katherine Emerson says that's about how long it took serial killer Matthew Macon to do his dirty work. Clearly the injuries happened at the time that he was in the area. He had opportunity and all the evidence, including his signature and his DNA in the quadrillions, shows that he is the person who committed that particular crime. The first victim, Sandra Eichhorn, was found Monday, August 27th of last year. She had been stabbed 36 times. Victim number two was attacked in her Jones Street home, but lived because her dog chased Macon away. She picked Macon out of a lineup. Victim three, Karen Delgado Yates, was found the next day, bludgeoned almost to death with a toilet tank lid. She was only barely alive when she was discovered, but died when she reached the hospital. The prosecution trotted out DNA experts, fingerprint analysts, and even a cell phone tracker to show where Macon was during the attacks. The defense, on the other hand, had nothing. Calling card or setup? That's for you folks to decide. Attorney Michael Bryant claimed Macon's brother was the killer, but had no proof. He also said the DNA evidence wasn't good enough, but the jury dismissed that. O'Brien didn't even call a single witness for his client. Matthew Macon is also implicated in several other killings, but one police officer tells us he may not be formally charged in those crimes because one life sentence should be enough to keep him off the street forever. His sentencing is scheduled for June 18th.